Okay, so we've got a traditional Pro Tools session open, and now we want to work with other collaborators on it. What do we have to do? So we need to take and turn this session into a project. It's simple to do. So under the file menu, we're going to select Save Copy In. This has been there in Pro Tools for quite a while to be able to kind of consolidate any session for backup, to be able to make sure that you have everything kind of gathered up. You can also use this to change the audio file type, sample rate, those type of things. Um, you can use the latest session format. You can go back to older session formats, but now we have the ability to turn this into a project. So when we select project, you still have the ability to change the file type, sample rate, bit depth. But you can see down here at the bottom, uh, items to copy, uh, the audio files are already checked and grayed out. So it, we know that it's going to copy all the audio media in this session for the project. So when we hit OK, it's basically going to do uh, give us the ability to change the name. So I never like to have the copy of, so I'm going to get rid of that. And then we're going to hit uh, OK. And then it's going to basically do uh, create the project. It's going to process uh, the actual media real quick. And then if we open up the task manager, you're going to see that it basically what we're doing now is we're gathering up all the audio media that's in this session. And it's basically going to turn it and put it into a local cache. Okay, so maybe take us through what the idea of the local cache is as compared to what will be going up into the cloud, and how do we choose where that cache is? Right, so the local cache, it basically is uh, kind of a, a place where all the media in a project is worked off of on your local storage. Uh, even though that this is all going to end up in the cloud and that's where it all resides in the long run, it's still going to want to work on it um, in the local uh, storage. Um, now, by default, it actually, the path is to your local hard drive. But if we go under Preferences and under the Operation tab, you'll see down here at the bottom, we have the ability to change the location of the project media cache. So if we hit Change, basically this will allow us to go out and choose any location on any connected storage. So we can choose a different location to where it is right now on the local storage, or we could even go back out and decide we want to put this on external storage where you or most people end up uh, working on their sessions anyway. So once you choose that, uh, that preference is saved now with your overall Pro Tools preferences. And any time that you start a project now, uh, all that project information is gathered up and put to that location for your cache storage for your and, project. And that's not something that you would open up in the Finder and open the project that way? No, I mean, it's basically just a local version of what you're working on. Um, and once again, uh, once you're done working on it, it all will end up in the cloud. And even if we're not sharing those tracks with other collaborators, some of those tracks. That's right, it all ends up in the cloud. Okay, all right, so we've done a really good job here of setting up how to convert a session into a project. Let's go ahead now and close this, and in our next segment, really go through how to set up the collaboration tools in Pro Tools and give you a quick tour. Sure.